we're hearing the authentic sound of Burns Night, played on the border pipes, the Northumbrian pipes, rather than what you would think of as the Highland bagpipes, because Robbie Burns came from the borders. Kevin Tilbury came in a couple of days ago to give us a taste of what Burns Night should sound like. The sound of the Northumbrian pipes from Kevin Tilbury. Kevin, talk me through um, this instrument then. It looks very different from the Highland pipes. It has a different sound. How does it work? Um, the, the major thing about these pipes is that they're bellows blown. Um, the, 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 the bellows is strapped around my chest and, and it's attached to my arm. There's a blowpipe that goes into the bag, which you squeeze and the air comes out of three drones, which you can stop totally. And also on the chanter, uh, the end is stopped as well. Uh, the chanter is pretty particular to this type of instrument, is that it has uh, seven keys, metal keys, which you play with your little finger and thumb. And uh, the idea is that you just lift one finger off at a time, and that produces the scale. Already I can't even begin to think about how your mind gets that right. So many different things to change, um, because it is the, the sort of patting your head and rubbing your tummy almost. <laughs> you, you, you've got the bellows going on under one arm, yeah. so uh, is it largely the other hand that's altering the note on, on the chanter? When, when you learn to play the pipes, uh, the North American pipes, you, you concentrate on the bellows and the bag pressure. Uh, after a while you forget about that, and you just concentrate on the fingering and uh, the, the phrasing of the music. So... Uh, I don't think of bag pressure and bellows when I play. I just think of the melody. I suppose if you're playing the Highland Pipes, you're blowing into the bag. You've got the bag under one arm and you're still playing the melody on That's the chanter. Right. So do you reckon they're about as, as easy or as difficult as each other to play? Um, the, the techniques are different, so I think one is easier or hard as the other. I think it's just technique, uh, which you have to get used to. Uh, the Highland Pipe, the, the a characteristic about the Northumbrian style is that we don't do grace notes or very little grace notes. And uh, the Highland Pipe is just full of grace notes. And that's what gives the, uh, the character of a Highland tradition and the Northumbrian is pretty plain melody, and that's about it. It's a very much smaller sound um, and less strident, but in many ways, well, I've said a lot of Highland Pipers here, um, a lot easier to listen to. It's, uh, they're designed for a room or a small set, you know, a small environment, and uh, the Highland Pipes are a war pipe, uh, and that's how they've been preserved, really. Um, so the, the, the Highland Pipes are made for outdoors, you know, for military setting and for noise and war, whereas the, the Northumbrian Pipes and the border tradition in, in general are more quieter, more home-based, more on the streets.
is Borders music different to the, the sort of canon, the repertoire that we would expect to hear from a Highland pipe band? It is very different, really. Um, it's it, only in the maybe the past decade or, or, or two decades the, the the border style has kind of come out. Uh, a lot of it's been lost. Um, s- s- I mean, uh, the researchers are finding manuscripts hidden away in libraries which have a border tradition. They have a border melody. They have, uh, as I was talking about, the technique. There's less gracing. Uh, most of the pipes in the borders, like Northumbrian Scottish Moor pipes and border pipes, are bellows blown, not mouth blown. Uh, so there is a whole different repertoire to, to the border tradition. And however the rest of the world associates it, Robert Burns is a borderman. It is Burns' night. The music that Burns would have associated with the pipes is, is much more with, with this tradition, is it, than, than the Highland pipes? It's very interesting that on, on Burns' night, on Burns' supper, they, they pipe in the haggis with a, with a Highland bagpipe, but... Yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, Burns would have known the border pipes. He would have known the border tradition. He collected melodies which are from the border tradition. Um, he, he preserved a lot of the melodies which are lost now. And uh, so, yeah, you're right. It's, it's more of a border tradition than a Highland tradition. So we're going to hear one of the melodies. Is this something Robert Burns as a poet composed or did he write words to this music? Or As far as I know, he wrote the words, but I think the melody goes back a lot longer. Than, than, than Burns. I mean, he, he was a great collector, uh, and uh, not only of melodies, but also of words, but he, uh, obviously he wrote, he wrote some great poetry as well. And this Burns song, or this Burns tune, is what? What are we going to hear next? Uh, the Banks and Braes of Bonnie Doon. What's the, the background to that? Do you know anything about it? I, I, don't, I don't know that much. No, I just think it's a great melody. Let's have a listen to it. Kevin, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks very much. Keeping music live and local on BBC Radio Cumbria, the music of Kevin Tilbury there and the Northumberland and Border Pipes.